Welcome back, you beautiful people. Running in the winter can be cold, wet, miserable if you're unprepared. But fear not, my fellow mountain bike riders, because these seven hacks are gonna help you keep warm and comfortable through those months. Let's get it started. This first hack is to make it easier to clean your bike after those really, really muddy rides. Now applying silicon spray to the down tube of your bike and the rest of the frame is gonna make it a lot harder for the mud to stick to your bike. Also, make it a little bit lighter. And when it comes to washing the bike at the end of the ride, the mud is just gonna fly off by applying a little bit of silicon spray to those parts. Also use a rag to apply the silicon to the frame because you just don't wanna go and spray your whole bike and then you contaminate your pads, your braking, contact points because you're not going to have brakes after that, maybe contaminated. <laughs> you don't want to not have brakes on a muddy hill. That's just dangerous, isn't it? Use a rag. Winter riding just means mud and it flicks up everywhere. In your eyes mainly, if you're not wearing eye protection, get some eye protection or even better, a mud guard. As you can see, I haven't really got a mud guard on my bike and the weather looks like it's going to turn for the worst and it is a bit puddly around and I haven't got one. But fear not, you can make one. I highly recommend a four pint bottle of milk like this one here. Plastic, just draw it out, trace it out, cut it up and put it there. But you don't really need one of these. You can use other things. Use the stuff that's laying around. Now Dottie's done a perfect video on how to make one out of a plastic bottle. There's a link in the description. Go over there if you want to make your own. Save you a few pennies as well. Because they're, you know, they're a bit costly. You gotta keep those pennies. I'm gonna make one quick. Need a marker, need some scissors, and I need a knife. Use a marker to create the shape. Hold the bottle up to the front wheel as you do so. Make sure you extend the guard past the fork arch for maximum mud protection. And don't forget the vertical tabs to cable tie it to the legs of the fork. Take a look at existing mud guards to get an idea of a shape. Make some holes carefully and attach the guard with some cable ties, zip it on, and you're good to go. All right, little pro tip. When you're making your mud guard, make sure it's longer at the back than at the front. And if it looks like it's longer at the front than at the back, turn it around, because the mud's gonna flick up from the back not from the front. Right, before I leave and go and use my mud guard to its heart's content and my arts and crafts is done, wet feet. It's inevitable when you go riding, especially through the puddles, mud and all that rad jazz. Now, if you haven't got waterproof shoes, like I have with laces on the front, we can delay the process a little bit. But submerging your feet is obviously gonna wet it a lot more. But to delay, the wetness coming through is duct tape. Using duct tape, just to duct tape over your laces is gonna just slow down that process a lot more. Keep your feet a little bit warmer in those winter months. I'm only going for an hour, so hopefully this stays on and uh, my feet stay nice and warm. A spare pair of gloves. Now gloves are a great way to get extra grip on your bars, especially when it gets really wet and muddy. You wanna have maximum grip on your palms because you don't want them to be falling off. Now when it starts to pour down and chuck it down and it's cold, these are gonna get super wet. Now I recommend you take a spare pair of gloves just in case you have a crash and you get muddy hands and you can't hold on to your bars or you're getting cold hands and wet hands. Having a spare pair in a bag or in a jacket pocket, this waterproof one right here, chuck them in there, keep them nice and warm and toasty when you ride. And when these get really muddy, you chuck these ones on. Keep nice hands warm. Keep your hands nice and warm. There you go. Now I'm ready to go for a ride. I need these gloves. Well, I've recently learned this from Yaga Garay and uh, it's an enduro hack because on those wet, long, muddy climbs, if you don't have a waterproof jacket where you can store your gloves and keep them nice and dry, or anything else like uh, your goggles or your riding glasses, if you don't want to get these all wet and muddy, this is a great hack. Hack, 
or bag, hag bag. This is a zip tied lock bag, it's an Ikea one, you can buy them, but this is just going to keep it watertight on those long climbs. You can put anything in here, your gloves, you can put your glasses in there, your spare ones if you want, your mobile phone so you don't want to get it all wet and stuff because if you don't have any waterproof uh, shorts or jacket or a bag you don't want to carry on your backpack. This little zip tie bag like this, look at that, lock tight in there, that's airtight and watertight and all kinds of rad jack tight. Then you can chuck that in your pocket, just like that, just for those climbs. And then when you get to the top, you'll have nice, warm, toasty gloves, and your eyes are going to be protected. Ah, oh, this this is a perfect hack because I'd used this at the EWS 100 where I raced it on that hardtail. I had my goggles in this bag because it was so wet and muddy. I didn't want my goggles to all fog up, and I had some tissues in there. So every time I started a stage or ended a stage, it would go straight in and it would come straight out, I'd clean it, and go straight on my face, and they'd be clean, crisp. It didn't really last that long, to be honest, because it was that bad. It didn't last long. It lasted two stages, and then I was dead. Perfect hack. This next one's it's new to me in the winter months, but I've been told about it. And that is hand guards. Now, I've used these at Andy's Pacifico where the brush is really harsh, it's tight, and it deflects it nicely away from my hands. But it also deflects those cold chills off my hands. Now, I've seen people uh, modify these to make them a lot bigger for those super, super cold minus conditions, like minus 15, like up in the North Pole and stuff. But these can help eliminate the cold chill from my hands. And uh, I use them on my motorbike, not these ones, but I have ones on my motorcycle and they, they work. So I'm going to use them on my mountain bike in these winter months. It's a good one, that one. <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, and now it's a family show and no one wants to see it anymore. But in all seriousness, a truck just like this one, a garden bucket, something a bit big that you can stand in. Make sure you take your shoes off before you get in there. Stand in there, you can undress and put all your dirty clothes in here. Everything is contained in this bucket. None of the dirt's gonna escape all that mud. Then you can plonk it back in your vehicle. And when you get home, you just remove it, take your dirty stuff out, rinse it, wash it, and then you can rinse out the bucket and put it back in the car for another day's muddy ride, which is gonna be a lot because winter months are longer than you think. There you go. So there we have it, seven of our favorite winter hacks that we use in the winter months. Now, have you used these hacks before? Have you got any other hacks that will help benefit other riders in those winter months? Let us know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, enjoy those cold, crisp mornings or evenings or day rides. Uh, you just stay warm, stay chilled. We'll see you later. See ya. Stay warm, stay chilled. Chill out, stay warm. There we go. I got mixed up. <laughs>